Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute's Data Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will learn how to make correlation matrices for continuous variables. In this video I will show how to obtain a correlation matrix for continuous variables. We are using the datasets data underscore tutorials dot dta. The variables uh, are tax, resources, age and income. Tax is a question. Would you be willing to pay higher taxes to fund environmental initiatives? And the answer options range from 0, no definitely not, to 10, yes definitely. The other variable, resources, is an attitudinal item that says that we are using up the earth resources too quickly. The answer options also vary between 0, no definitely not, to 10, yes definitely. Age is the age of respondents in years and income is the respondents household income. To get the correlation matrix you just have to type in correlate follow by the name of the variables tax, resources, age and income. And here we have the correlation matrix. We have in each cell the Pearson correlation between pairs of variables. For example, the Pearson correlation between resources and tax is 0 0.63. That's the highest correlation in the matrix. In the correlation matrix, the diagonal is always 1 because it's the Pearson correlation of the variable with itself, and the lower triangle mirrors the upper triangle. That's why in the upper triangle we have no values. Goodbye.